going on dudes and dudettes so Jack Sears the ex USC quarterback who was basically third on the depth chart when he went to the transfer portal during the summer has finally decided to go to San Diego State so luckily he's not gonna be in the same conference the Pac-12 conference but a different one and he still stays in state in California which is pretty cool I guess but too bad USC doesn't get to play them to see what he can do in a revenge game, but maybe we can see him <clears throat> in a bowl game within the next year or two, depending how long he stays, but good luck to him, and yeah, it's tough that you got beat out by a freshman, but we'll see where your career holds down at San Diego State. Then Justin Flo, the linebacker who's like number four ranked, I think in California, and probably number like top 10 overall for a high school player coming out this year. I've <clears throat> been saying I really want him and want USC to go after him hard and then surprisingly this last weekend they had a, his very last in-home visit that he had and it was with USC which is great. So they had their final opportunity to throw their hat in the ring and even though they didn't make his final four, I, I'm hearing some stuff saying that he wants to stay closer to home. So hopefully they can snag him and he doesn't go up to Oregon who was in his final four because that's what happened last year with Kayvon Thibodeau who's doing pretty good for Oregon as a freshman on the defensive end and he went up there and he was a top pro prospect not only in the nation but out of California as well so we can't lose another one of these guys because we already lost that Penny or Penny Sawal or the Sawal guy that I mentioned a few weeks back he actually went up to Oregon already so it's gonna suck if they have all three of those guys that are my favorite guys the past couple years but yes yeah, hoping for the best in the early national signing day that's happening within the next day or two then USC hoops got their notice of allegations from the NCAA just pretty much says that the, the guy I believe his name was Tony Bland the ex head coach that they obviously let go last year uh, was obviously doing some wrongdoing and is had gotten into trouble and it's pretty obvious that's why he hasn't been on the team or freaking man you're distracting but yes they got the notice and a bunch of other colleges like Kansas places like that got their notices as well but USC already got rid of the problem so I don't I don't expect anything bad to happen to their program and let's hope for the best because they're on they're going up in the right trend. I believe they're nine and two right now, which is really awesome to start the season. So hopefully nothing too bad happens in the future for USC hoops. Then on to some Chargers news. So Anthony Lynn in his press conference after the loss on Sunday to the Chargers basically came out and said, "Yep, they we got our asses kicked. Uh, too many turnovers. Obviously, I think there was seven in that game, and especially two by your star running back Melvin Gordon and." Of course, dumbass Philip Rivers making stupid uh, mistakes, whether it's fumbling the ball and you know Minnesota returning for a touchdown or throwing some underthrown passes and having or even overthrown passes too, and uh, having Harrison Smith intercept and a lot of these other guys intercept the ball and him basically blaming everybody else instead of blaming himself, which is horrible. Which is why I don't really give a damn if he comes back or not because I really hope he doesn't because he's just tragically horrible and could barely be a backup quarterback like Eli Manning but yes they definitely uh, I guess the only bright spot is that they moved up to the ninth overall pick if the draft were to start today because of the loss so hopefully a couple more losses I don't care if they lose to the Raiders or Kansas City I believe it's the last game so yeah please lose these games that's the only positive thing you're going to give me as a Chargers fan right now then uh, shooting guard for USC basketball right now, Charles O'Banny Jr. has decided to enter the transfer portal because he hasn't gotten enough playing time the past couple years. And I'm kind of okay to see him go because he was a four-star guy, highly ranked out of Nevada, I believe, but he just hasn't shown his potential at all when given the opportunities. And plus his dad is the main reason why uh, we don't have any EA Sports NCAA football or basketball games because his dad was the one that sued the NCAA and all that because they used his likeness in a video game. And that's why we don't have one of the greater video games at all, which freaking sucks for most people. And, you know, it was definitely a popular game, so kind of glad to see you go, Charles. 
Then, speaking of USC hoops, so USC, we will Sunday night beat Long Beach State. The score was 87 to 76. Once again, the star power forward freshman Onyeka Okongwu did a, did a wonderful job again. Had a lot of great stats, a lot of good overall play. Long Beach State, is, like I've been saying, they, they've had a good, pretty tough schedule USC. They, it's another team that could win their conference and get automatically into the NCAA tournament. So they're one of the top teams in a lower conference, obviously, but they're definitely one of the better ones and glad that USC got this victory. Then on to some Lakers news. So I believe it was Friday. The Lakers beat the Miami Heat in Miami, 113 to 110. Came down to the last second. Obviously Miami is a, a lot better team with Jimmy Butler there and a lot of the pieces they have there and doing really well. And I believe the Lakers right now are undefeated on the road or something like that. Or I think they said away from Staples because even though that first game was technically on the road at the Clippers, it doesn't really count as a road game because it's still LA, it's still the same arena. But I guess all the other games after that that were on the road, they are still undefeated, the Lakers are, which is really awesome. I think the Miami Heat had another win streak going on, I think at home for them as well. So glad the Lakers got that W against a pretty tough team who, could, who they could probably meet in the finals if Miami makes a trade or continues to play as well as they are. So yeah, very glad USC got the W, but it's kind of funny how this story comes out that they said, oh, Frank Vogel can actually coach these Lakers. He's doing a great job and all this stuff. But I think I already was saying that before just cause I like the hire and the fact that he coached Paul George and Roy Hibbert, that Indiana team that almost beat LeBron when he was at Miami a couple times in the Eastern Conference a few years back. And if he could control a lot of those younger, talented guys and get him at least that far, that young in his career, then he would have been able to do it. With the Lakers, it just had to be LeBron and Anthony Davis buying in to his philosophies and not trying to get him fired as LeBron is usually accustomed to getting his first year at coaches fired. But then the Lakers also had a game, I believe it was Sunday night as well. They played at Atlanta and got the W 101 to 96. So once again, the defense showing up thanks to Frank Vogel. They were able to hold this team under 100, which is great, <clears throat> especially for an Atlanta team who always shoots the three. They shoot so many shots and they don't really care how their offense goes. They just always like shooting the ball and was glad that the Lakers got this W on the road. I believe LeBron with his stats, he had a double-double with 32 and 13, which is great. And then Anthony Davis had a double-double as well with 27 and 13. So I'm really glad that these guys are showing up against the crappier teams when obviously you've heard me say this a lot the past couple years when the Lakers played these crappy teams, they never really closed the games out, but I'm glad they at least did this right here and got this W, which will be important in the overall seating at the end of the year. But thanks for watching, people. Like and subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Have a great rest of your day.